Hey, welcome to my AMZ Scout Pro tutorial and review. In this video, you're gonna learn in an easy to understand and step-by-step -step manner how to use the AMZ Scout Pro Chrome extension for best results and for your Amazon product research. Now, this video is also part of my playlist about AMZ Scout, where I go through all the features of this program and show you how to use them. You're gonna find the playlist up here in the card and in the description of this video. Please check it out later on after you finish watching this video if you wanna see how to use other parts of AMZ Scout. Now, this video is number two. Video number one is gonna be also linked in the description of this video and up here in the card. There we were using the AMZ Scout product database to find products. And in this video, we're gonna take a product from there, from that last video, and we're gonna run it through the AMZ Scout Pro Chrome extension. So let's do it right now. My name is Vovo, by the way. I'm an active seller on Amazon. I've been selling there since late 2016. On this channel, we're gonna find lots of tutorials, tips, tricks, hacks, gold nuggets, all about Amazon FBA and they're aimed at you to become a better seller on Amazon. If this is something that interests you, please subscribe and hit the bell. If you're coming back, then thank you for watching. As usually, hopefully my <laughs> content and stuff is in fact impactful on you and you're enjoying it, it's giving you results. If that's so, I'm happy. And don't forget to hit the bell. Oh, the bell, 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 yes. So let's get to the video. Now, Click on the link in the description to get the Chrome extension. It's gonna be there and you're gonna have a little discount there. It's an affiliate link, by the way, for the Chrome extension. Also, there's gonna be a link where you can get a big discount for a bundle where you get the Chrome extension and the product database and some other things. But we're gonna go through that later on in the video. First, let's just let me show you how it works, but it's also in the description. So, how it works. Now, in the previous video, we found tons of products here on the uh, database. I found this specific product, the Gun Skins Pistol Skin. That's a pistol skin. You know, I'm a gamer. I like, well, I like many different games, but I've played, if you know, if you remember, Wolfenstein Enemy Territory back in like 2005, 6. That was pretty good. And I also played CS 1.6 for a few good years. And now there are skins for weapons, you know, in CS Global Offensive. So this kind of caught my eye and I thought, well, let's see, that's the thing in real life, like people like skins for their guns. So let's take it to Amazon, right? Then from here, I went to Amazon and I typed in pistol skin on Amazon, yes, to get all the products. And I clicked on the Chrome extension to get the results. And let me show you exactly what I've gotten and what are the results of the Chrome extension, why you need it. First, it's gonna give you a bird's eye view, so to say, of a market. Instead of checking one product by one product, you can see all the products on a given page in a specific market. And then you can go through them and see and compare them, see if this market is good for you, because obviously you wanna see this for your product research on Amazon, for your Amazon FBA product research, right? So once you're on the page of the product, once you have your keyword inside, you click on the Chrome extension, yes, on the Amazon Scout Pro. Again, in order to find these products, you can use the AMZ Scout web app and the product database, which was, we spoken about it in the previous video. It's in the description. So what do we have here on the extension? First, we have the results that appeared here up, up the uh, page. Average monthly sales. That's what the average monthly sales of a given listing do. Average sales rank. What's the average BSR in this niche? BSR is the best seller rank, if you remember right from the previous video. Average price. What's the average price amongst these listings that they were scanned? What's the average reviews in these listings? How, what's the average re reviews in all the listings? Some listing might have 500 reviews and our listing might have 30 reviews. But after scanning them all, 139 is the number. Saturation score. Saturation score is a parameter that AMZ Scout gives you and it shows you how many other sellers that are using AMZ Scout have found this niche this month. That's a nice indicator to see if a niche is saturated or not in terms of at least AMZ Scout sellers because we, there are different programs for finding products on Amazon. But specifically with the AMZ Scout, zero sellers found it this month. So, I mean, that's the first one that is me. Niche score. Now, let me explain you what is niche score. It says five here. Let's click on it. And it's going to give you an overall score of a niche. Now, before we get into that, let me tell you that you do not need to rely on these scores 100%. It's just giving you ideas for product research. For example, if you get 10 out of 10 here, it doesn't mean that you need to run and get this product. It's a nice indication, it's gonna be a big light bulb that appears and says like, all right, that's interesting, it gives me very interesting results. But it doesn't mean that you need to go and source it. So what do we have here? What is the overall score? This is a result for pistol skin, for this specific keyword, yes? 
and it says five out of ten likely to succeed. Let me explain you what it says. So it says profit very high, desired prices. The prices are inside the fifteen to forty range. It's easier to make profits if prices are not low, or sell in large quantities if prices are not high. So in terms of profit and price, it's in the right uh, so to say point. Twenty six bucks. That's the average price. All right, very high margin. Will easily profit. But don't forget to add shipping, production, marketing to your costs in the profit calculator. It seems that the product margin is higher here, high, high here. And we're going to get to that soon in the calculator. And that's, that's giving you good indication. You see the th sound up is green. That means it's good. Demand, medium, high sales. You will have a chance to sell a lot, especially if you're on the first page. That's giving a good indicator. There are sales. There is some, so to say, there is traffic there. That's an old niche. That's not good, though. You can be sure that the product has been on demand for years, but there are some old sellers who will compete with you. That means this niche is not something that just popped up, it's getting saturated and you still have more chances. You still might have more chances here, but it's an old niche. It means that these, some of these sellers have been selling this product for a while. Competition says it's strong there. It's an unsaturated niche. You will compete with just a few sellers. And I'll get back to that in a few seconds. Very few reviews. You can get sales with zero to two reviews. That's good. That means there are not that many reviews. Very low top brand competition. You won't compete with famous brands. That means you don't have any Nike, Adidas here. Very low quality listings. You can easily create the best listing of the product. That's listing quality score. We're going to get to that in a while as well. We're going to be getting to that parameter. That means that it's scanning the listing and it's showing that their quality is not good. Maybe there's low amount of images. Maybe their titles are not optimized. Maybe you don't have bullet points, etc. Few AMZ sellers. You will not compete with Amazon for sales much, which is good. There's not Amazon as a seller. Amazon itself does not sell their, these products. Or maybe few AMZ sellers. Maybe one, two, depends. So it says generally there are not many. Low average rating. You can quite easily make your product with better quality. That means like, well, probably again, if by what the machine is scanning, it says that the product can be made with better quality. It means low average rating. The average rating, as I mentioned before, they can be rating up to five stars yes if a product has like 50 reviews and it gets 49 five star reviews and one one star review is going to be a 4.9 rating in this niche it seems that the low rating is is the average the review rating is low that means somewhere maybe four 3.5 star that means there's room for improvement for differentiation as well you can fix problems that means there are problems in this market people are not happy about these products for some reason you can read that through the reviews and obviously, if they're not happy, we can improve it. Next is it's extremely monopolistic. You will compete with a lot of very strong sellers. Now, one weird thing that this one, unsaturated niche and extremely monopolistic, appear in the same place here. And that's pretty weird. But this is something that sometimes the machine spits out. And again, the machines are not perfect. So maybe sometimes it is not perfectly so say aligned with, with what's going on. That's why I've mentioned before, you don't need to rely on that only. You need to think of other ways to validate, not only by this overall score. It's just one of the things. Let's continue. Where were we? Oh, we're here in the niche score. Next is niche history. What is niche history? Let's click here. And here's here are a few graphs. One graph, and let me just remove them for a second. Yeah, now we have nothing here. There's one graph that indicates the sales pattern, okay? And that's a sales pattern for a year. You see today is the end of March 2020, and it's taking it back to end of March 2019. So that's a year scale here. And we have sales, that's sales on Amazon, how many estimated sales it makes per per day in these in this in this time. You see, it's daily. 12th of June, 10th of June, it says how many sales this product did. Then there's the rank. What was the best seller rank? And again, the higher the rank, the less the sales. So you can see here it's getting more sales right now. And I'll tell you why exactly. I think I'm speculating here, but we're gonna get to that why this market is improving right now. End of March, remember, there's a weird situation in the world going on right now. And next is the price. Well, generally, it seems that the price of this niche is pretty much the same, the average price. It's on $29.99. Sometimes, as I've seen from using different Chrome extensions, you need to kind of, how to say, it does not always up, getting updated. There might be a problem with updating the certain prices. Sometimes you need to refresh, check it out, see different keywords as well. Or sometimes maybe the price generally stayed the same. It's a bit weird for me to see that the price stayed the same throughout the whole year because, you know, the niche, it's, it's taken um, the average price of all the niche because, you know, maybe it's going down, up. It's showing that it's not really moving here. You see it's the price is $29.99 across all the year. 
Well, interesting. We're going to get back to that as well. So that, let's see. Let's see what if we can also take them together into consideration. For example, you can see here, you see the, the rent climbs up here and the sales go down. And the same here, the rent clouds really up and the sales go really down, like it's zero sales here. And here, obviously, you can see the rent going down and the sales go up. So there's a correlation between the rent and the sales, right? For some reason, it's showing the price as not moving for the snitch. I'm not sure why like this, but nevertheless, it does show it in this way. There's this button here, which you have some hints, FAQ, about, and options. That's FAQ, not the other thing I've said. <laughs> and uh, okay, let's go to, to the results. What do we see here? On the left, we have the favorite, which can favorite here with, by clicking on the star. So it's gonna get to, so to say, in your favorite products down here on the right side. It's gonna, you can see the favorites that you've chosen. You can remove a product from, uh, from search and why because sometimes you might have different products so this one is a pistol skin remember we had different pistol skins as you can see here if you remember right also with the counter strike or any other games you're playing that's you have pistol skins i mean you have weapon skins yes but for example if you have something that is not connected here for example this one is extension yes you can the ranking here for this keyword yes but it's not something that you're looking for you can remove it here and look, this will, uh, this will um, also correlate with the re average reviews and the average revenue and the sales rank because these are not relevant. So you can remove these products. You can go through them and see, okay, these are not relevant. Or if I'm looking for pistol skin, I don't really need skin for for an automatic rifle. Uh, this is uh, Kalashnikov, that is, or no? No, I'm not sure. That's not Kalashnikov, but that's something very, um, it seems like it at least, or there was a uh, UMP, you see, where was UMP? I think that's UMP, no, I'm sorry, that's MP5. <laughs> For those who are gun nerds, you will uh, judge me, I would say, or whatever, but there's Glocks here, yes? So that's the uh, pistol skin, but yeah, you can remove here the products, that's one thing. Next is the product name, that's the product name on Amazon, the title of the, essentially the product. Then there's the brand name. That's the brand name. Here's Gun Skins, Mighty Skins, Mighty Skins. You can see in this market, as I can see from now, just uh, from watching the big two big sellers, Gun Skins and Mighty Skins. They're maybe competing for the same market and they're strong in this market. They have strong uh, presence here. Next is the product score and that's individual for each product. Let me show you. For example, you click here and it's gonna take this product into consideration. And it's gonna say you have a great margin with this product. Yes, with this specific kind of product, that's a, Premium vinyl gun, let me just see what exactly, uh, you can also see the picture here, by the way, but that's, let's just open it. Let's see what premium vinyl gun for certain is the style fits any gun. Okay, that's for any gun. I just thought maybe it's for a Glock or something, but no, this one is if it, it is made for any handgun, I guess, because that's, um, I'm not sure how you apply it. Just let me check it out. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of wrap it up and then you kind of cut it with with a knife, I guess. Yes, that's the way to go with the skin. It's not like in Counter-Strike where you just apply it and that's it. You know, in the real world, it's a bit more complicated. But let me get back to product score. So it says you have a great margin with this product. Yes, you will be able to get decent sales even with low review count. The listing is average quality. You can try and make better listing to compete. This is a big revenue opportunity. Again, this is scanning it and this is a machine scan. So... I never really rely on that, but it gives me ideas, yes? It just gives me some ideas for specific products, the product score. Some are lower. For example, let's pick something with lower. Mm, let's, let's, let's pick four here, this one. You will not have enough profit with this product. Okay, that might be a different kind of skin. And so you need a lot of reviews to get some sales. The listing is average quality. You can try and make a better listing compete. There is a big revenue opportunity. So again, it scans a few things and gives you and spits you the result. And then you can see this one is a bit different. It's number four. So maybe that's a different video. Maybe that's a six pack. You see, maybe a six pack by the machine again sells less good than the one pack here, as it says. Right, so that's product score. You can get ideas from here, click on it. It's gonna get a few things into consideration. And then you can run into conclusion, I guess, or get some ideas. Number of sellers on the given listings. Usually, as I mentioned in the previous video, remember it's also in the description of this video. You have the video speaking about product, so to say, finding products with the AMZ Scout. I've mentioned that two sellers usually will be an FBA offer fulfilled by Amazon and also FBM offer fulfilled by merchant. That's uh, somebody who's using a warehouse that is, so to say, not an FBA warehouse to fulfill the sales. And sometimes there are going to be two sellers. Sometimes there are three sellers, okay? 
that might be a product that is, um, as you can say, arbitrage product where there are many sellers selling one item. Maybe there are hijackers on the listing as well. Many things. Maybe it's Amazon competing with, well, if it's Amazon competing with others, that usually would also be arbitrage. But usually this is the uh, number of sellers. Next is the rank. What's the best seller rank in this category? We can also, if you hover over it, you're going to see what is the main category, which is sports and outdoors. And then next is the what is the rank in the sub niche and the hunting and camouflage accessories and this way you can also get ideas for products you can for example climb into hunting niche camouflage accessories and find extra products there i have a video that is a product research video where i also have four hours devoted to amz scout from the 12 hours and you can find it up here in the card in the description of this video that's a 12 hour i called it the product research bible where I go and I tell you like product research step by step. You can call it a free course or a guide. Um, it's very, very in detail thing. And I speak about finding products there. It's 12 hour video. I think it's one of my strongest videos up to date. And I do recommend you check it out. It's going to be in the description as well. Definitely worth a check and worth your time. Gave it my best. And there's also extra ways to use AMZ Scout there. So enjoy. So that's the rank, that's the best rank. Next is the price, what's the price of this specific product? Next is the Amazon FBA fees. Yeah, it's how, how much fees get deducted per sale from each product. But let me get back to the price for a second. In the price, you can also click and get back to this graph, okay? And here, it's interesting. Here, actually, if we're not speaking of the niche, this one is gonna give you the price history of a given listing, not the whole niche. Remember, this is different. And here we can see that the price fluctuates, how you say, fluctuates, fluctuates. Uh, uh, where was I? Here it is. You can see that the price, oh, for some reason the price, or maybe I, I clicked on a different listing here. No, for some reason, I just, because I saw that the price did change, it was like more of a, in, in a changing pattern, but for now I see that it doesn't. Sometimes you need to reload the Chrome extension or the page just for it to kind of get the data back to point, but let's just go back. So you can click individually, see this specific listing and the sales of this specific listing and not the whole niche. For example, you click on this one, you can see the price and the sales of this specific product or this specific product, for example, or which is this, this the, the uh, dual akimbo or how you call it, yes, or the, or the AR-15 rifle skins here. You click on the price and it's gonna give you the sales for this specific listing. Now this one doesn't even go back as a year, it only goes back in a few months because it doesn't have history for as, as so long uh, in this one. Let's see, for example, this product. The Fox Bruce. oh, you see here the price changed. Yeah, I just recommend you sometimes refreshing it so we can see this one is an old product, so we can see the history for a year in sales and rank and price. And again, you can play the same, but this is for individual listing, right? If you want to see an individual product and follow its history, you use uh, individual listing and not the niche score here, niche history, sorry. Next one is FBA fees. Also, you can click here. Let's get back to the first one. And we're going to see the profit calculator here. And it's really nice. It's going to tell you the product price, what you're selling, $34.99. Then the product cost, how much it costs you to buy it from the factory, say $3, yes? Additional per unit cost, any additional cost that you might add. This is up to you. You can also put zero here and include all of them here. It's not a mandatory, but it's just going to be easier for you to understand. What's the additional per unit cost? What's the additional monthly cost? Maybe you also want to include your software even in this, uh, so to say, in, uh, in here, in the profit calculator, because it also kind of is your profit, right? You need to include that in, in counting your profits on Amazon as well, whatever you're paying for, be that AMZ Scout or other software. By the way, as I mentioned before, in the description, it's going to be really nice discount for AMZ Scout. We're going to get to the discount. I'm going to explain you exactly what you're getting in a bit. First, let me show you what you're, how to use it. <laughs> so additional thoughts, product weight is going to scan it from Amazon. That's 0 0.15, very light product, by the way. That's a big advantage of this product. Product size, that's pretty big product. Well, I'm sorry, pretty, it's not a big product. Uh, that's product size here in inches and product weight. Next is the monthly storage, how much Amazon takes per unit. And it's really low. Pick and pack, how much is the pick and pack fee? How much do they take per each sale? Amazon. Referral fee, how much they take per each sale? They take usually 15%. Estimated monthly sales, how many estimated pieces this product sells? Total FBA fee, what's the total FBA fee after the referral plus pick and pack? That's 7.89. Profit per unit. So if it costs us, let's say $3 to, so to say, to 
get, a pro get this product landed after all the monthly additional costs, whatever you've, you've added to this. Let's add a dollar here. Yes, maybe let's add a dollar here as well just for the for the example it's going to give you the profit per unit which is $23 which is very nice here and then the net margin is 66% that's pretty crazy that's before pay per click or before any other marketing expenses if you're if you know that for example you're going to pay $1000 to an influencer and it's going to be your additional so to say uh, how to say expense per unit yes so to say you can add it here to your additional unit costs yes as you wish or any other things just play with it yes but and then there's the ROI in this specific case that's a huge ROI this product you're gonna be selling uh, <laughs> these products and getting a lot of money back so you can buy more inventory that's the idea of ROI you need to have high ROI on Amazon because you need to in the in the best scenario yes you need to be selling the product, getting back the money before you even buy extra inventory. So to say, for buying extra inventory before you sell out, because then you can get more inventory in and this way you continue selling, selling, selling without going out of stock. High ROI is a must on Amazon. And that would give 13K monthly profit, which is a lot of money. Okay, that was the estimated monthly sales. That's how you take uh, the calculator. The estimate revenue, it gives you 21K. Number of reviews, 118 reviews. RPR, that's revenue per review. How much revenue it gives you per review so for example the revenue is twenty one thousand, and the number of reviews is 118. let's take an, another example if this product was to do ten thousand in revenue and it had 10 reviews that means the revenue per review would be a thousand dollars which is really nice this is also a way for you to find those gold nugget so to say products that have high revenue per review that means they have no reviews but have very high revenues that's the average rating, 4.3, the average rating of the reviews of this listing. There's the listing quality score. And in the previous video, if you watched, also recommend you watching it again, I promise to give you the more examples of what is the listing quality score, what exactly is taken into consideration. So, Nameland is the product title. It's under 200 bullets. Good. Brand, it's one under 100 uh, characters. It's good. Bullet counts, uh, over four, four bullets. That's good. Rating is over four stars, that's good. Number of reviews, over 14, good. Sellers FBA, good. Description land, over 1,000 characters, good. Images count, over five images, good. This gives the listing a high quality score, but imagine that there are listings that have low quality score. That means they have maybe number of reviews two, and they have seller who's not FBA, they're FBM seller, and the description land is 20, 20 characters. The image count is one and bullet count is two. And this way you can find those bad listings. And if you have a niche that has many of these inside, you can actually improve it and then get more sales. So that's the way to use the listing quality score. I wanna say that these, I mean, you can still sell very well with five images and with rating of I say 3.8. It all depends on the niche, so many factors, but generally it's a good idea because if people have four, re, four images, you can add extra three to be seen on mobile to get more sales, show more features, show more benefits, show more emotions on your listing, show more discounts, do comparative marketing, show some reviews, whatever. That's uh, something you can do and in order to get more sales. Available from, when was it first available? This one is available for six years already and has only 118 reviews. I think I already also spoke about this in my previous video. That's pretty good. That means that he's been selling pretty well decently throughout the years and only have gotten 180 reviews. So that's another thing to think about. If, if listing is uh, present in a category, been selling for a long time, still selling well and doesn't have many reviews, it's either because <laughs> there's not many sales that get in the reviews. Maybe they don't know how to get the reviews, but maybe that's a chance for you to see, okay, this niche is very low on reviews, but selling for so long, that's a niche that still is alive. It gets the sales. Okay, you can also check the sales of a niche on Google Trends. It's also one of the things that I teach in that 12 hour video. So remember, it's also in the description, highly recommended. Next is the seller, who's selling it? Amazon, uh, Amazon FBA. FBA seller or, or uh, FBM seller. FBM seller is, again, the somebody who is shipping products on selling them on Amazon, but not using the fulfillment services of Amazon. That's an FBM seller. So these are the things here. Next, we have the next page if you want to load more results. Here you can click refresh just to refresh everything. There's the filter. On the filter, you can find specific products because you can load many, many products here and then you can, so to say, filter them. You can find products that only have 
specific rating. You want to see products that maximum have four ratings, for example, or you want to see products that only priced over $20 on this specific page, in this specific niche, you see, or estimate revenue at least 10,000. You want to see only these that make the most, because then you want to see, hmm, these are the strongest ones. What can I study from them? What can I learn from these listings? Okay, you played with this and you can click on apply and it's going to be applied to, to the results. And I guess I, I, yeah, you can see the f <laughs> good, good example. The filter parameters are too strict. Try to change them or turn off the filter. I guess there is nothing like this. <laughs> so let me, it's also hiding sponsored here. No PPC ads, but let's say uh, from price 15 and estimate revenue of 5,000. Yes, and the rating 4.2. Just as an example, oh, only one does uh, the specific criteria. All right, so you see you narrow down the criteria and then you get everything uh, back to you with the program. Let's get back to uh, the results. Let's just leave the $20 and above. Okay, and this way it's easier to see more results, but this way you need to narrow down. Yes, if you want to see specific ones, specific prices. Uh, this is the filter, then the trends. Trends is gonna take it, as I mentioned before, the Google Trends, but here you have it uh, on MZ Scout for five years. You see, that's in the United States past five years. If you're selling in France and you wanna see results from 2004, you need to go to Google Trends, which I recommend you, but here you have it uh, from MZ Scout. Now, I told you why this niche is going up. I think because people are stocking up on guns now, in the States at least, in this weird situation. And obviously they're buying more gun skins for this. So there, it's also a trend going up in gun safes as well. Generally the gun niche is going up right now on Amazon. So that's the interesting thing to look for. There's the niche keywords. It's gonna show you what are the keywords that are most used in this niche. Easy, pistol, skin, wrap, on all the listings. That's a good way for your product research, for your keyword optimization, sorry. Uh, when you create your listings, because you can see all the keywords that are used in those listings again and again. For example, easy, gun, vinyl, wrap, skin, pistol. It's giving you ideas for product research as well. You can use these keywords for extra product research, but also for your future keyword research. Very important, you can export to CSV to have it saved. That's the niche keywords. Trends, CSV, you can again download it all. There's tutorial, some tutorial of AMZ Scout also about this extension, your favorites and the niche idea. When you click on here, it's gonna give you random niches and just that you can find randomly. In that video of the 12 hours that I mentioned, again, it's in the description. I'm telling you it again and again because it's really good. There I played with the niche idea, I think like a hundred plus times. I've gotten different products. So you can in that video see what I've gotten. So I guess we are, where, where did we check everything here? Yes, we did. And here's a discount bundle that MZ Scout has for you. It's available through the link in the description of this video. There's gonna be a big discount. And this is an affiliate link. It means that if you'll ever purchase anything from AMZ Scout, I'll get a little commission from AMZ Scout with no extra cost to you. It's just a way for you to support my content and my channel. And this is a win-win situation because that's called affiliate marketing. Essentially, I'm promoting products that I use myself. And the thing is, they get the customer, you get discount, and I get a commission. It's a win-win-win situation. So let me show you exactly what you're getting. Now, you're getting the AMZ Scout Extension Pro Annual, which is usually 149 bucks. You're getting the AMZ Scout Web App Basic Annual, which is 179 bucks. We've covered it in the previous video. Remember, there's a playlist in the description as well for this. There's the MZ Scout Keyword Tracker Annual, which is $119 usually. The Quick View, which is the Chrome extension, that's usually $59. MZ Scout FBA Calculator, which is annual, but you get it for zero. MZ Scout Stocks Stats is all lifetime with zero with this bundle. And the eBay and Price Comparator is lifetime with zero dollars. I don't use the eBay Price Comparator, but if you're an eBay seller, that might be good for you. That's subtotal of $506 usually. But with a discount through the link in the description, it's gonna cut off $278 from this. That's over 50% and it's eventually it's gonna be $228 for you. And this is a one-time purchase for a year. Now I'll tell you that if you're on a budget, that's gonna be a good idea for you because some other software that I use myself is priced a bit more. But with AMZ Scout yearly plan, $228 is a pretty good idea if you're looking for product research and everything that's covered here in this parse. And remember, I also covered it in my playlist as well. So it is available through the link in the description. Check it out. If you're interested in this bundle, you're welcome to purchase it through my link. And thank you for that. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the uh, Chrome extension by AMZ Scout. The uh, extension is called Quick View. I'm gonna show you how to use it and exactly what you're getting there. So go check out this video to learn, study. Thank you a lot for watching. Appreciate that a lot. See you in this video or my other next video. Bye-bye.